Hey, make some help. Okay, so I know we're talking a lot about joy and things like this, but in all the joy, I've realized I forgot one emotion, and that's so when we teach joygasm, we teach four emotions. We teach joy, we teach orgasm, uh, we teach anger, which I've talked about, and we teach sorrow, which is really important. And the reason why it's important, especially for men, is because we as a man, especially in like my culture in Russia, uh, men don't cry. Men don't be sorrow. We cannot be sorrow, sorrow because we are man. We should be always like, mm, I'm the man. I should always be neutral. Huh. <laughs> and it's up to the to like the women to be sorrow, you know. <laughs> uh, and reality is that because we are so afraid of being sorrow, afraid of crying, because our fathers judge us, and that's that's just sad, kind of, and like at the same time, lack of realization of how much damage they're causing to us as children by doing that, it's just so upsetting and like we are the generation who can change that so we can't do anything with the past and like we needed to experience that traumas to know what it feels like but i definitely remember like seeing people on the streets being like and like you see a boy crying and then the man would be like hey man up are you like a boy why you do not weep and there's a big difference between a man who can express the emotion of sorrow and being a wimp, right? So you can be a wimp without. Uh, it does sound weird when I say wimp. <laughs> uh, you can be a wimp without uh, crying at all, without expressing your emotions. You just like. Rah, 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 like all the time being uh, like, oh, it's not gonna work because I don't know, it's like. Blah, blah. And. Uh, not being able to take responsibility that's that's more for me uh means wimp like maybe i just misunderstand the english word so <laughs> call me if i do, don't uh, and there's like a direct relation there between expressing the emotions and being a wimp in like in my culture and I remember even myself, like, I remember my dad telling me this, I remember, he's like, don't cry, man, don't cry, the real man, if you want to be a real man, the real man never cries, because it's a real man, right? It's not fucking true. The real man can express the emotions. And the real man gets sad. And the real man cries. Because... Cry is a release. It's a release of emotions. And if you're holding them, if you holding all these like emotions and it's just like, oh, I feel upset, but I'm the man, I should not express that. And then you go around the corner and you punch the wall because this is the way men express emotions. Uh Are you really not expressing emotions, so you're just choosing to f f to put them all into aggression? And I remember I used to be like that. I used to, when I was in a relationship, uh, I didn't know how to else to express, and then I would just be aggressive towards my partner. And like something happens at work, and I come and I be like, ah, oh, this is upsetting. But the man should not be upset. And they should. The only the only two emotions the man should express is the anger. And that's it, pretty much. The anger and the happy. Oh, yeah. Ha, 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 ha. And sometimes, you, like, it's nothing wrong with being sad. Like, I was a bit, um, like, sad after the the call today. And I went downstairs. And my, my parents like, oh, my God, what happened? Is someone died or something? I'm like, oh, seriously. So, the... Attitude like I feel like I've been like hey, are we gonna fix you like tell us what happened? We tell you that it's okay. I, I 
don't need to fix like it's okay to be sad sometimes and it, like it's not okay to be depressed but sometimes there is feelings of sadness and they are totally the same exact feelings as uh, the feeling of happiness or the feeling of orgasm or the feeling of anger they are equal feelings when we suppress one of them we're not letting ourselves go we're not letting ourselves be who we really are we are resenting part of ourselves I realized one thing today when I, why like I do orgasm with uh, the the like people ask me why the heck like like it seems like some kind of spiritual like stuff and I'm like huh but you're a software developer why the fuck are you doing this because not not just the fact that I saw how people how like much they enjoy the experience but how much people open up after that is because it creates the connection between people which helps them to trust each other which helps them to stop being in fear to stop being afraid afraid of other people's judgment that's fucking the biggest fear we have and when we can't cry in front of other people it's because we're afraid that people are gonna judge us that's what that's why we don't do this because we're afraid that they're gonna feel like we're a wimp or they're gonna feel like we're a lesser man if we cry in front of other people. That's that's what we're afraid of, and this is the fear that like we all have. Like some of us are battling with it better, <laughs> or worse. Some of us just accepting it and. It depends on the day, like, sometimes I can be like, yeah, whatever, I don't care, and some days it's just like, oh, this is really uncomfortable, and it's hard, it's hard to face the fear and see the fear and recognize that it's there, and recognize where it came from, because when you recognize where it came from, when you recognize that the fear is actually not about your current situation, the fear is about you being, I don't know, five-year-old who is asked to go on stage and perform and you like, ah, uh, ah, uh, but uh, I'm too, ah, uh, no, what, I don't know what to do. And everyone's looking at you and they look like, it's going to say something and then start laughing. And the shame, that fear, that like feeling that you feel at the stage is like, I want to fucking hide somewhere and just like never ever do this again that feeling stays with us and it goes for like fast forward 20 years you you're really sad because you saw something on a on a on the tv maybe i don't know someone died or something or maybe on the tv maybe you're reading a book and the book is really sad and like and like then you're afraid to cry, you're afraid to express emotions. This is exactly the same way, because you feel like everyone will gonna look at you and they're gonna like, ha ha ha, look at this person. We don't, we don't know this as, as, as people who are born in this, like the human nature in us wants us to express the emotions. Unfortunately, our society teaches us how not to express the emotions. So, Let's unlearn those lessons, because not every lesson that society gave us is a good one. <laughs> and this one in particular is not really a good one. The reason why they teach you to express no emotions, like a sour emotions, because if you do actually express the emotions, you can let go, you can stop, and you can look at the situation, and you can be clear on what you want and start questioning them start questioning the system start questioning the fact that um you like the whole education system is designed to prepare robots so 
that's why they express our emotions. They're like, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. And women are allowed to express emotions to a certain extent, but men are like uh, suppressed to ridiculous possibility, like impossibility. We'll just like angry monkeys that's the only expression that's, that's that's what we should be an angry monkey it's like ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that's what they want us to be because then we are full of fear and you know how easy it is to manipulate people who are full of fear you just tell them that you're gonna protect them from the fear and then they're like oh, you are the saver save us please can be your own saver. Bring to face those fears. People will judge you. And it's your choice. Still. Because you know how old people, they don't give a shit? Because they realize it doesn't fucking matter. That's why they don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> it's not because they're old and they don't care. They realize at the end of the life that First, everyone's busy with their own shit, and they don't really care much. And second, it's your experience. Every moment is your experience, and if you choose to not express your emotions, the only one who loses from it is yourself. Not the person next to you who might judge you. It's yourself. So choose to live in every emotion, including the sadness. Being able to cry in the public it's powerful. It's a powerful release. And I, I invite you to try. <laughs> I invite you to try. Especially if you are mine in Russia, because it's ridiculous here. Like, <laughs> I don't know how else to exp explain the amount of stigma here. You're probably gonna be called gay, basically. And here in Russia, that's a very bad thing. It's like, you know, they like, on a level of parliament, they said that like it's not okay to like even tell children about uh, homosexuality. Like, it's... So if you, if you as a man called gay here, it's like, it's completely like, you just lost your whole manhood. It just like, phew, went out of the window and that's it. That's what we are programmed to do. This is not who we are. We don't need to be. So let's change that. Maximal.